today we're going to be talking about is vocal tonality. It's the next kind of, it's not so much an argument, but it's highly influential in terms of conveying a message, right? Because you can say a particular phrase, or you can see a, a sentence in a book, and depending on which words you accent, how harsh you accent, in what tonality, or how uh, at the end of the sentence you have an upward tonality shift, <clears throat> like you're asking a question, right, or downward tonality shift, like you're arriving at a statement or a definitive fact or something like that. And so there's multiple ways that you could read it. You could read it in a super sad way. You could read it in a super compassionate way. You could read it in a fear-based way. You can read it in a really angry tonality. You could read it in a kind of passive-aggressive <laughs> tonality. Uh, you could uh, read it in a um, very certain tonality, right? Where everything is on point and you know exactly where every word falls. And it's just a matter of fact. It's just kind of one of those things where it's just obvious. It just kind of sits. And so then you then can run with that in terms of depending on which structure you're going for, structure, what does that mean? Well, if we have a logical point, we can just say it as certain. We can use a tonality of certainty, matter of fact, obvious, and frame it in a way if we're asking a question like that, you know, you already know this, right? You already know this. You've probably already done all this other work to have the prerequisites to understand this argument. So here it is, point blank, you know, straight up. That's, that's different. And so, that's cool. Now, an emotional way. You could say, uh, uh, what is it, pathos or whatever? You know, you can have that really compassionate, and I really, like, like what specifically about this thing just, you know, kind of sits there with you and just, you know, it's kind of like after a movie that ends kind of like, in a way that you really didn't want it to, and you're just sitting there, you're like, you're kind of, like, you go to bed or whatever, because it's late at night, and you're going to bed, and you're like, you can't stop thinking about it, and you're like, oh my gosh, and you replay this one scene of this person dying, or this this main character that was pivotal, and then they die, or something, or there's a major sacrifice that you really didn't want to happen because you like the character, and you're just sitting there, you're just seeing that scene in your head over and over, and you're just like, what is that for you? Like, like, you know, just... Because I know what that looks like for me, and gosh... You know, I can't imagine what that looks like for you. Like, what, what, is, what, is, what is that? Now, that's not exactly the best example, but what you can do is that you can go to Jordan Belford's website. Uh, it's like, his book is The Way of the Wolf or whatever. And you can go to his website, and it has all these tonality uh, examples that you can click, and then you can listen and transcribe what that sounds like and then reverse engineer it and then be able to use it with with whatever you're doing and if you have a fixed presentation or you have a script or something like that you can assign okay this one I'm gonna use the compassionate one this one I'm gonna use this one I'm gonna use this one for this you know if I'm asking a question or I just wanna make a statement a little less you know punch you in the face kinda of thing then I can ask it with a question mark at the end of it um, and then it just makes the whole process easier, and not to mention, <clears throat> it's, it's, it fits, right? You know, some of the best movies that we, you know, this is what he used in this book as an example, but some of the best movies that we keep coming back to over and over and over again were all completely scripted. They're actors, right? But they make it real, they put the human element in how they say the line. If you just sat there reading the script, anybody can read a script. And if you're me, you're dyslexic, so you kind of like stumble on words and you put things around and, and, it mess, and it messes the flow up, right? But these actors have practiced it so much and they're able to actually physically use their body language as well to put the human element into it. Not just the human element, a human element, whatever that means, but the actual verbatim needed uh, body language, tonality, 
uh, emotion, you could say emotion, behind those words that make completely complete and total sense with what the movie's trying to go for at that moment. If things are serious, they're not they're not doing random stuff, right? If if they have the final sequence at the end where everybody's happy and they just resolve the main conflict, of course they're going to be, you know, ecstatic, they're going to be happy, they're going to be smiling all over the place. They're going to be saying their their lines with a smile and and like a bubbly tone, whatever that means. Bubbly tone that's just an adjective of describing something. So um yeah, so it, it, if we're trying to understand tonality, it's not an argument, but it helps you convey a message in the exact way that will get our message across to whoever's listening. They'll know exactly what it means, right? And, and we can craft our message so that it's the most pleasing to the other person, right? And it doesn't have to be some random... <clears throat> it doesn't have to be like, oh, you know... I'm just going to reflect you, and that's all, right? No. We're doing, we're making something of ourselves, right? We have our personal preferences, our authentic way of that we do things and think and say things, and then we mix in <clears throat> some things to make it similar, so we're on the same page, and then we present it in a way that's, like, you just put the packaging around it, right? You have the content, which is you, authentically, and then you put the packaging of, Okay, similarities, the tonalities, things that, you know, feel nice, you know, you're asking questions, you're asking permission, you're keeping them on the same line, the same trying to track, and, and then you're, you're conveying exactly what you want to, and you know exactly how it's going to come across. It's not an argument, but it helps. <laughs> it helps. You know, you, you know, it helps. So, I'd love to hear your comments below. Goodbye.